Hello everyone, welcome back to the art playground. As you know, I tend to work in art journals and uh, my last post I kind of did a little gallery wall but I want to push it further. So today I wanted to show you how I'm going to be using some Paper Artsy Fresco Finish paint, some sparkles, embossing powders from WOW, and some flock. Some pink flock from WOW. So I just have some cardstock. And I already went ahead and used my die cut and I cut out some frames. That one has the price on it, that's okay. So I think this was like a dollar ninety-nine for this whole sheet. And this is how many little frames I got to make out of one sheet. So let's get to it, shall we? I'm gonna do some pink and some gold. This is bubblegum. You can get one of your beat up brushes for this one. You don't have to be too finicky. We just want to get it coated. Just want to get the edges on the inside and the outside. Just so there's no gray peeking through. Might as well do a double coat. Move those ones off to the side and move on to my gold ones because you get the idea you can make a whole bunch of these and have them ready to go for when you want to create either a card or a page or a little 3d project you might be working on sorry there's my my dog barking <laughs> let's do two rectangles this is Haystack. It's my favorite undertone color for when I'm doing gold. My gold. I'm going to shake. So the idea is that you can grab a stamp and you can press the design down on here to emboss or you can do the whole thing. If you want to do the whole thing you can use the Mixed Media Embossing Brush by WOW. And if you want to do it the other way, that and one of your favorite stamps. And I have misplaced the packaging, I'm sorry. But any, any like fun pattern or um, scroll work pattern that you want to use, go ahead and do that. it, press it, and gently lift it up, don't touch the front. Let's use metallic gold rich regular. That turned out very nice. The other gold frame, I'm going to use the brush and I'm going to put this sparkle on it. A little can go a long way. And pearl gold sparkle. This one just goes so lovely and smooth. With my pen, I want to add some sparkles inside a few of these hearts. There we go, we just added a little bit extra sparkle. I need something else for the flock. But we will use this one. I am going to use a golden acrylic glazing liquid in satin. So you just need something that the glitter, the sparkles, and or the flock will stick to. If you had a paint that stayed wet longer, you could even just use the paint to adhere it. This one is amazing. This one is Gold Rush. Gold Rush. Look at the sparkle. This 
little stars in there. Then we're going to do the same with this one, but we're going to use the flock instead. So this would just be a fun project to do. If you don't have in mind what you want to create yet, but you want to get some pieces ready, so you have them on hand. I am big for creating the ephemera type pieces kind of in an assembly line because it saves time and you're you're in the zone so you can just keep working away and having fun. So I get some bigger kind of dabs on there. This one you can even use in a stencil and some thick paste because then you can get Maybe even a design in there. Let's get our flock. I'm going to grab another sheet of paper. Just a blank sheet of sketch paper. And I'm just going to lay this over top and gently press to get that flock into it. And clean. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look at this. Can you see that? Just going to finish up this little bit from where we held the tweezers. And there you have it. Four frames that you can do. And just let your mind keep going. So you can even do rubbings over top. Have any of your embossed ones. And like shade in some areas. Use a little bit of ink. If you use the embossing brush though, and you get quite a bit on there, you're going to have to leave it longer to dry because it is a slow drying liquid. Let's call it a liquid polish. <laughs> so it may take a little longer, but then you're going to be ready to make some fabulous cards or journal pages. I can't just leave you guys there. I have an idea. So if you watched my last video, this is where we ended up. The gallery page. So I want to use these frames on this side. Move these over. So I want to use them on this side. Da, da, da. This flock sparkles. So that's what I'm going to do. I am going to add in some more Alice's. Mm. Some and some happy caffeinated Alice's to this page. These are some little, they're not ATC size, but the little prints I did of Alice for a project I recently ran for a book I recently published. <laughs> but yeah, so I thought they would look fabulous. Like that. Oh yes. I'm gonna add them all over this page. And I will put you on high speed. Don't worry. You don't need to just sit and watch every little thing. But I'm gonna put you on high speed, and you can see what I create. Okay. This is Sparkle Copper Fire.
This one is the Embossing Powder Cupcake Heaven. Can't remember. It might be out of... I don't know if they make it anymore. I'll have to double check. There are other fabulous fuchsia sparkles as well though. Uh, oh, look at that. The Wonderland Gallery. Hmm. Look at all that texture. We have flock. We have the thick sparkles. We have embossing powders. And the 3D frames. 2D? Three, three. Now my page looks complete. So yeah, think of what you can do. If you only have one family photo and you want to do a family photo, please go make a copy first. Do not <laughs> use your one and only good copy photo. But yes, that would be so fun to do. It's like a family portrait, wouldn't it? It's so good. It's so good. Okay, I'm going to leave you guys there. I hope you had fun. I will see you on... April 5th April 5th is my next my next wow post if you're following on wow if you're following on my page I'll see you sooner than that bye bye for now guys